Hi, welcome to Archivematica Technical Training Diagnostic Guide Part 3. Part 3 is dealing with problems. So we'll talk through reading logs and monitoring systems, deciding when to upgrade or to perform security updates, and some more. Sometimes when things get messed up, it might be best to restart all or some of the Archivematica services. Here are the main ones. The dashboard, the MCP client, MCP server, the storage service, and also Gearman. If a file is stuck and you want to stop it from being transferred further, like if you accidentally ingest a very large file set, you may only need to restart the MCP server service. Also note that it may take some time for the services to be fully restarted. Sometimes the Archivematica software appears to still be present, but it cannot actually connect. And other times you'll just see an Nginx 502 bad gateway error message. You might want to wait at least five minutes before checking that everything is up and running. The services will say they're up and running, but they may actually still be processing. Here's where all the important logs are, and less can be used to read them. Tail can also be used, or VI, or whatever service you want to use to uh, read log files. The dashboard probably won't have a lot of useful information, but the rest of them will. Errors can be quickly assessed in the admittedly verbose logs by grepping the logs. Error will definitely pull up errors, but it may also be worth searching for warning as well, because sometimes that will reveal what's going on even if it's not explicitly an error, especially if working with sending dissemination information packages to different systems. Sometimes a warning message is what you'll get rather than an error because something's happening uh, outside of the system. Also for system monitoring, Zabbix or Grafana can be installed for a visual dashboard of systems and services, how they're operating, and how much memory and computer power they are taking up, etc. Other tools include MediaBeat, Nagios, Xenos, and Pandora. For upgrading, there are a couple things to keep in mind. First, you need to decide uh, whether a new release is something you want or not, and also how much time you should put aside to doing that upgrade. A trade-off to not upgrading is not keeping up pace with the community and having a harder time getting support from the community for older versions. A good idea is to test the upgrade, make a backup of your production environment, and test the upgrade there. If that's not possible, you'll have to plan for downtime. If you want to be able to do this, you might want to explore a virtualization of your Archivematica environment so you can run a development or testing environment in addition to the production environment. Make sure that Ubuntu is set up to do unattended upgrades, which will apply security patches. This is the equivalent of a Windows update or a macOS update. And sometimes these re upgrades require the system to be restarted, so you might need to plan for 30 minutes of downtime. Make sure that you're not in the middle of processing and that your current transfers and archival information packages are complete. Now I want to briefly mention that we have APIs for accessing Archivematica and the storage service in case you want to build tools on top of the system for better tracking, tracking outside of Archivematica, our integration into other organization-specific systems. Here are the other, a few of the other systems that we currently integrate with. For those who don't have a maintenance and support contract from Artifactual or another supplier, there are still places to seek out free help from the community, which includes us at Artifactual. You can participate in the community forum. You can read our documentation, the primary documentation on the Archive Medica website, or some developer-specific documentation can be found on our wiki. Or if you believe you've found a bug, you can file it in our issues tracker. We have that one tracker listed to cover all parts of Archivematica, so you don't have to necessarily know which component is causing the error. Instructions for writing good issues are preloaded into this repository, so we can get everything we need from you to be able to diagnose these problems. If you want more detailed information about what we've covered here, you can check out these two documents I've prepared in conjunction this, with this material. There's one for tech-savvy preservationists, and one uh, for our Chimatica Unfamiliar Systems Administrators. Thanks so much for listening, and enjoy.